No valvular regurgitation, no wall motion abnormalities, no structural defects. If you didn't sound so despondent, I'd say that was good news. It is for you, not for him. Notice any heaviness in your legs the last couple of days? Why isn't it good news for you? Because if there's nothing wrong with you, he gets fired. Seriously? Somewhat seriously. Your legs? I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. Shortness of breath. Would it help if I puked? <laughs> Pick a card. Any tightness in your chest or arms? Pick a card. You don't seem too worried. Would you please pick a card? Our boss thinks your cardiac arrest was just a result of you accidentally drowning. Your boss is an idiot. Put it back. Shuffle him up. So then why aren't you worried? Either I'm dying or I'm not. I mean, I don't want the ride to be over, but unless worrying is some new form of treatment, your card. No. We're going to prep you for a transesophageal echo. You sure you shuffled these? And I'm going to need to sedate you. Might want to check your wallet first. Well, check your wallet. It's part of the trick. <sighs> oh. That's my card. How did you do that? Do it again. <clears throat> A fungus in my lungs? How would I even get something like that? Right now, it's just a theory. We don't even know if it's... I know I should have done those mushrooms in college. I'm sure there's no connection. It's a joke. You really lose your sense of humor when your job's on the line, huh? Sorry, most dying people don't really like to... Not that you're dying. But a little sick would be perfect. Yeah. Ow! 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 I stabbed it! Stabbing or throbbing? <laughs> Great Turner, son. He's got internal bleeding. I'll call surgery. Surgeons have transfused three units AB positive, but they're still looking for the source of the bleed. No trauma. Could be liver disease, vitamin K deficiency. Only thing we know for sure it's not, nothing. Oh, we would have noticed something chronic like liver disease. It's probably an intestinal infarct. Okay. I got it. Nosebleed that major means he's actually sick. It means the cardiac arrest. It's a symptom. Stop gloating. Good luck gloating. What's that smirk? No smirk. This is how I look. What about the underwear challenge? I declare it officially on hold. Not really fair, but I get it. It's Cuddy's. Pull down your pants. You think I'm lying? No, I want to give you a reward. Yes, I think you're lying. Cardiac arrest plus nosebleed, go. A uh, patient has no significant family history, no angina, no prior attacks. What if it isn't his heart? What if it's the vessels around his heart, polyarteritis nodosa, causes cardiac symptoms and hypertension, which makes his nosebleed? You know what else makes your nosebleed and your heart race? Cocaine. Guy works in the B-list nightclub in Atlantic City. He's got to be taking regular rolls in the snow. You take the gloater to the patient's drug den. Make sure you pat down his pockets before you leave. You and Big Love biopsy a blood vessel from around the heart, test for polyarteritis nodosa. You, in my office. Those aren't my panties. I know. Hypothetical. A young woman does something clumsy in public. And instead of laughing it off, she gets irrationally upset. Explain. Maybe she's clumsy because she's nervous because she forgot to do her spelling homework. In my hypothetical, she's eight. But this girl is not insecure. It seems more like she's afraid. Do you have a point, or did you just get a new book of riddles? I think you're hiding a medical condition. I'm not. I'm glad we had this talk. Doctors often try to ignore their symptoms because they think they can't get sick. If you've got something going on, I need you to take care of it. And I take your compassion entirely at face value. It's not compassion. Self-interest, I want my team healthy. It's not self-interest, it's curiosity. I dropped a file, House. I start bleeding from the eyes, I'll be sure to make an appointment. Okay. giving me 
how'd you do the trick? Oh, if I explain it, it becomes mundane. When you lose the actual magic. What do you mean, actual magic? Think you're actually sawing women in half? Are you gonna tell me what's wrong with me or not? Magic is cool. Actual magic is oxymoronic. Might not even be oxy. You're not gonna tell me unless I tell you? <laughs> you got a nurse to plant the card. I can't get a nurse to help me pee. You got a buddy to plant the card. Fun is in not knowing. The fun is in knowing. Oh, my head. Oh, I got a headache. How bad? Is it new? Oh, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll just take one of these Vicodin. <laughs> you eat a lot of beets, you have an electric toothbrush, and you sleep less than six hours a night. That's impressive. The red betamine from the beets stains the plaque deposits on your teeth, which are then swirled by your spinning toothbrush. Your heavy lids and your prematurely aging skin tell me that you're carrying a major sleep debt. That was way cooler before you explained it. It was meaningless until I explained it. People come to my show because they want a sense of wonder. They want to experience something that they can't explain. If the wonder's gone when the truth is known, there never was any wonder. You have tularemia from your rabbits. Put you on antibiotics, you'll be better in a couple of days. Sorry to spoil a mystery. Thank you. I just need to get out my things. It's very important. It's done where I actually need to do it. Well. I've got it. Oh my. God, you're not wearing underwear. Of course I'm. Don't screw it that tight, you got no secrets. Screw it that tight, I can tell if you've got an IUD. You seen Dr. Cole? No. You're blushing. I am not. Look at me. Oh my God. How'd you do it? So I'm safe? In this job, yeah. Crotch, on the other hand. How'd you do it? Prayer, mostly. Just tell me. Does Cuddy have a groove back? It'd be rude of me to discuss. You handed over her panties. I don't think gallantry is really an option at this point. If I tell you, then where's the magic? He passed out. Ultrasound revealed bleeding around his heart. We drained 100 cc's before it stopped. The antibiotics aren't working. It's obviously not tularemia or any other infection. Excuse me. We were talking. Bleeding around the heart could mean botched biopsy when Cole was looking for the... Why would you accuse the man who decides your fate of screwing up? Those really were her panties? Cole has traveled through the forest of crustaceans and brought us a treasure. He has earned his reward. If I could just get the immunity, I would... No, Sophie, you can't. Use whatever criteria you want. Could be a clotting issue. If he developed DIC after the surgery, even a normal biopsy bleeds out of control. So, cardiac arrest and DIC, what's the common denominator? Could be cancer. We've been looking in his chest since he got here. It's clean. So the main mass is somewhere else. Throws up a clot, blocks an artery in his heart, causes the arrest. Good. Go find out where he's hiding his cancer. If you swallowed any more metal, now would be a good time to tell us. Oh, my hands feel kind of numb. And hey, you lost a lot of blood. I'm gonna die. Everybody gets scared in the hospital. You're sick, you feel awful. No. This time tomorrow, I'll be dead. Who's going on the block? He thinks he's dying. He's probably right. Tomorrow. 
You decide to put me up, I totally get it. Nothing personal. I haven't decided anything. But you don't like me. I like you. Some fluid in the lungs. No masses. I'm manipulative. I play the game. I can be a bitch. There's a dark spot. Damage from where the key ripped through. You're probably expecting me to bash the others. Give examples of how they screwed up. You know I can. I'm a good doctor. As good as anybody around here. Probably better. You know that's the only thing that matters. What's that? It's not a tumor, it's another bleed. This one's in his kidney. And his thigh. He's bleeding all over the place. His timetable may be right on. It was creepy. The patient predicted his own death. Would have been more impressive if he predicted that he wasn't gonna die. Of course, that takes longer to prove. Could be a symptom. Sense of impending doom? Yeah, could be adrenal gland disorders, blood issues, anaphylaxis. If you're gonna kiss his ass to protect your ass, at least wait until he's had a good idea. It's a symptom of him being a charlatan. He's a second-rate magician with a mysterious illness. Why wouldn't he predict his own death? If he's wrong, we all forget it. If he's right, he goes out of legend. He got scared right after a transfusion. Tainted blood has been known to cause a sense of impending doom. Could also explain the DIC. I predict all your pagers go off right now. If it had happened. Anyone bother looking at his panel? His immunoglobulin levels are low. That doesn't tell us anything specific. Are you but... acting stupid because you know you're safe? Clever. Low immunoglobulin plus failing heart plus fluid in the lungs plus internal bleeding equals amyloidosis. He's bleeding way too much for amyloidosis. Is there anything about his hands or feet feeling weak? He said his hands felt numb, but that's explained by the blood loss. No! Do not give me credit for that. Close doesn't count. That's how people get sucked into this stupidity. He's seizing. Somebody stabilize him. The rest of you, pull his medical records. Go back 10 years. Look for joint pain, fatigue, anything associated with amyloidosis. 